Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own installation.exe or .msi installer. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first things first that we want to do is we want to get a Visual Studio and um, in the link down below there's a download to get Visual Studio. I chose for this video Visual Studio Community. And so you're gonna want to install this because this is what we're going to be using to um, make our installer. So I'm, to, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. But I've, pro I've probably, yeah, I've probably already done this before. Yeah, I already, yeah, I already done this before because I already have Visual Studio. But just go through the installer and let me actually open, let me actually open this up here. When, when you're on the Visual, when you're on the Visual Studio installer, what you want to do is, um, you want to make sure that you, when, when installing, um, Visual Studio, not, not code, code would not work, but when installing Visual Studio 2017 or, or more, uh, make sure to select these. Actually, wait, I don't know if you actually need to select them because... Uh, well, I don't know. I, I just selected these just to make sure that everything went well because, you know, it's Windows development stuff. So, I mean, uh, if you want to play safe, I, I haven't really I haven't really checked, but I'm not sure if you should actually have all these four. I mean, three. Sorry, I'm, I, I still just woke up. Anywho, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open this up. I'm going to go ahead and launch community and I've already started on one project with this I've already I've already created one setup before so once you have once uh shoot my alarm sorry about that <clears throat> so once visual studio uh, um once visual studio is uh installed we want to go to the next link in the description and this is where we're going to be getting our installer project. We're going to go ahead and go to this link in the, the, the second link in the description which will give you the installer projects. This is what we're going to be, these projects are what we're going to be using for to create our installer. So you want to go ahead and download this. And then you can run this here and this will basically uh, you have to have Visual Studio closed to, for this to work I've already installed this so I can't really show you how to do it but just make sure that you have Visual Studio closed because the installer will not continue without it now we can start on the fun part which is creating our installer so let's go ahead and open Visual Studio again once you have installed the installer projects you want to go into file you want to go into new and then new project in here you want to go into installed you want to click on the little arrow here and then you want to select other other project files if there is one if there if there if there isn't anything like this you didn't do the uh, you didn't install the installer projects so once you get to here the uh, Visual Studio installer you want to click on setup project actually wait no uh, sorry you want to go on to setup wizard so we're gonna go ahead and go into here oh shoot I forgot um, let me go back into here you could set the name for your setup so you could just um so let's see i was just typing for youtube there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and click on this this is gonna be the thing that we're gonna be using and we're gonna click on okay 
So then we'll, so then we'll be bringing up to this here, which is the setup wizard. So it says, welcome to the setup wizard. Basically click on next. You want to click on next here. Which files would you like you would would you would you like to include? So I'm gonna go ahead and create. I'm gonna go ahead. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and oh shoot, I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna so on my other screen at the moment, I'm creating a text document for YouTube, and I'm just gonna open this up here. But I, I'm just I'm just having a simple file. You don't have to have a text file. You could add in any file you want. Like I since I worked on a since I make texture packs and stuff like that, I I made a texture pack installer for uh, my Minecraft texture pack. But uh, you could add in like a .js, uh, .python, stuff like that. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into add. And I go ahead and go into my desktop here. I'm gonna select my file that I want. And then I can click on next and finish. So now, here's our little workspace. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna go into my applications folder just to make sure our file is here. And yes, it is. So we're going to go ahead and over here, I'm going to go ahead and click on for YouTube. Oh, and also if you don't have this, if you don't have the little properties thing, go into view and then go into properties window and it should pop up with this. This is what we're going to be using to modify sort of the author name, our, our uh, product name and stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and change a few set of things. The first thing that we want to do is we want to change the author. Uh, instead of having it as default company name, we're gonna have it just as my name. I'll just put them in here. And uh, right here. And then manufacturer, you want to do the same thing. Um, and then make sure you're saving your file. So you want to do Control Control Shift S. Which will save all your file, which will save your your project, um, and then you can scroll down here, and then this this is the product name that's going to be used in the installer, and this is the title of the installer as well. So the next set of things before we um, sort of start uh, changing up stuff, like sort of changing the messages, the sort of layout of the uh, installer. I'm gonna go ahead and on our solution explorer here, uh, let me actually see if there is actually that. Because there should be. If you don't have this up, it, it should be somewhere in the view, in the view sort of thing here. But anyway, if you have the explorer here, I'm gonna go ahead and right click on our um, on our sort of installer project here. I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on mine. And we're gonna go ahead and go into properties. And if you need to, you could change the name of the uh, installer to anything you want here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rename this for YouTube installer. Now you don't have to have the names like I do for the installer. You like this is your installer. You could have the names. You could have the names or the messages to whatever you want. I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stop you. But anyway, the next thing that we want to do is once you have configured your um installation here, um. I'm going to go ahead and go into view, I'm going to go ahead and go into editor, and then we want to go into user interface. This is where we're going to modify our install. So, 
this part here is when the person is not running the installer in admin mode. And then this here is when the person is running the installer in admin mode, which is not really needed for the installer, but is okay. Just it's not it's not really it's not really needed when using the installer. It's gonna go ahead and go into our welcome here. And if we go back to our properties window, we can go ahead and edit the messages here of what they say. So banner tip map. Uh, this is this is our sort of artwork that we're going. To, this is the artwork that we're going to be using for our for our installer. Uh, let me just check. Let me just check a few things. Um, let's see here. I need to check what is the recommended size for this. If I go into here. I've already created my own sort of template of a um, of a installer here in Paint.net. Recommended size, uh, basically something like, well, what you see down here. So you can make your banner stuff like that. So the next thing to do is uh, you can edit all the stuff here. So this is when you start it up. It's the welcome message, the installation folder, and uh, this is when confirming the install. But I mean, you can't edit this because there's nothing here. You can't really add in anything. And then this is when the um, this is when the installer is installing its stuff. And then this is when it's finished. And then the same thing for the admin. This, 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 and this. That in this okay so once you've configured all your messages now what we want to do is we want to get the installer oh and also if you're gonna get a if you want to have a banner for your um for your installer what I would recommend is is uh go into your file system here right click on this side of of your project you want to add up a uh, you want to add a special folder you don't want to create a custom folder as this will install the stuff that's in that folder so what I think helps is using the fonts folder and I know it's really dumb I shouldn't but it's the only other way that I thought was going to work so put your banner in here you go back to the user interface and you could go into the banner bitmap click on browse and then we would go into the fonts folder and then you want to and then types of fi files of type you want to select all files as dot pngs I mean these are the ones that are supported I mean these are the ones that Visual Studio thinks are okay but every but every um photo file is all right so go ahead and put in your banner for all that i'm gonna go ahead and edit this i'm gonna go ahead and exit this out i'm gonna go ahead and just simply say this is a installer for youtube hello go ahead and save my project always make sure you save your project guys it's very recommended so once you have all so once you have your installer all configured and, every, and you have everything just working fine the next thing you want to do is when you're ready you want to go over to your uh, explore here and you want to right click on here you want to right click on build and this will simply make the installer so if we look at our output here here we could see that it's that it made our installer as we only have one text document here so that didn't take that long so we're going to go ahead and go back to our explorer here i'm going to go ahead and right click on our installer i'm going to click on install just to make sure everything is working fine so as you can see here, this is this is the uh, message that I put in. Going to go ahead and click on next. 
Um, I am going to put this onto my. I'm going to go ahead and put this onto my desktop. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and then you go ahead and confirm the installation. It will ask for permission. And once it has installed, you can click on close. And now we should have our text document. But since I already have it on my desktop, here it is. And that's our message. So hopefully this tutorial worked for you guys. If it did, please subs please like the video and subscribe maybe. I don't know. But if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, um, go ahead and put it in the comments down below because I will, because I will see what I could do for you people as for you guys on what to do. Uh, so, uh, as of now, thank you guys for watching. Uh, new videos will be coming out soon. Next video is, um, of my Dell laptop and I'm going to be replacing the battery on it. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I will see you guys later. So, oh, my cat's here. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!